by God's wonderful grace and mercy and through the Holy Spirit's direction, we want to continue with our proclamation that we have been going chapter by chapter and by His grace we are now on Psalm 119 verses 17 to 24 is the proclamation we have for today and as we already know Psalm 119 is broken down into sections. The past two weeks we have learned from Psalm 119 the first eight verses was Aleph and last week we learned Beth B-E-T-H, and by God's wonderful grace and mercy, this week we want to learn Gimmet, and that is from verse 17 to 24, and this is what the authorized King James renders the third part of Psalm 119, starting from verse 17, it says, Deal bountifully with thy servant that I may live and seek and keep thy word. 18. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. 19. I am in I am, pardon me, a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. Twenty my soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. 21. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do err from thy commandments. 22. Remove from me reproach and contempt for I have kept thy testimonies. 23. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servant did meditate in thy statutes. 24. Thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. Amen. And now let us all proclaim from our personalized weekly proclamation, Psalm 119, verses 17 to 24. Oh, my heavenly Father and Jehovah Tikenu, the Lord God, my righteousness, Hallowed be your blessed name. Thank you for granting me the justification by faith and union with your begotten Son, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Also, thank you for my Lord's substitutionary and sacrificial atonement death on Calvary's cross and his resurrection for all saints. Gimel, my glorious almighty and heavenly father, please deal bountifully with your servant that I may live and keep your holy word. Open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your holy scriptures. 
for I am a stranger in the earth. Please do not hide your commandments from me. My soul breaks with longing for your judgments at all times. Holy Father, you rebuke the proud, the cursed, who stray from your commandments. Please remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have prayerfully and obediently kept your testimonies. Some worldly Christian members, families, friends, and co-workers also sit and speak against me, but your servant continues to meditate on your statutes. Your testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. Amen. Thank you, my Jehovah Tekenu, for answering my prayers, humble prayers, in the blessed name and righteousness of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Psalm 119, verses 17 to 24 has been personalized. Also, the prayer request. As seventh leaders, First Century Gospel Church is compassionately inspired by God's Holy Scripture to pray for our spiritual growth and victorious life in our Lord Jesus Christ. Offer scriptural advice and counsel to those who contact us about their issues. Present requests for prayers in humility to your throne of grace and mercy for answer and deliverance. Through faith in you, Heavenly Father, and by the power in the atoning sacrifice, blood bought rights, righteousness, and blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Matthew 10, 1, Matthew 28, 19 and 20, Mark 11, 22 to 24, Mark 16, 17 and 18, and James the Apostle 5, 13 to 18. Amen. Finally, Ephesians 3, 17 to 19 is the pastoral prayer. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which surpasseth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen. Thank God.